Davao de Oro and to our avid listeners, most especially to our learners. Welcome in our presentation in Home Economics TVL Track. By the way, I am teacher Cheryl S. Absin of Pindasan National High School, Division of Davao de Oro. Join me as we explore our new lesson in TVL Home Economics Track. Learners, we are now in the second quarter and third week of our specialization in food and beverage services. Today, we are going to discuss all about the different common napkin folding styles. The objectives of today's lesson are At the end of this episode, the students will be able to learn how to Number 1. Identify the different kinds of common napkin folding style Number 2. Apply all the knowledge and skills in different types of napkin folding technique And number 3. Perform the different kinds of common napkin folding style Please get your modules and listen carefully so that you will be able to follow our discussion and learn another lesson from our specialization. But before we proceed, may I remind you of the following simple rules on how to use your modules. Number 1. Use the module with care. Do not put unnecessary marks on any part of the module. Use a separate sheet of paper in answering the exercises. Number 2. Read the instruction carefully before doing each task. As for this episode, I will be with you as we accomplish some of the tasks and activities for the quarter 2, module 1 of the subject FBS. Number 3. Observe honesty and integrity in doing the tasks and checking your answers. Number 4. Finish the task at hand before proceeding to the next. And number 5. Return this module to your teacher or facilitator once you are through with it. Now, are you ready? Very good! I guess everything is all set. Then, let's begin! Making paper airplane is one of the fondest childhood memories that we cannot forget when we are still children. Most of us knows how to fly a self-made paper airplane. Now, can you still make an airplane out of paper? Do you still remember how to do it? Let's try! Can you get a scratch paper? And we will start making it in two minutes. Are you ready? Timer starts now. Wow! Great job! Can you now figure out what will be our lesson for today? You're right! Yay! Our lesson for today is all about the different types of common napkin folding techniques. It is one of the elements in setting up tables in the dining area. In our previous lesson and exercises, we already tackled the different components in table setting. And table napkin is one of it. A folded napkin is placed on the table for the guests use to contribute to the presentation of the cover and the whole dining environment. The way in which the napkin is presented depends on the type of establishment and the type of services. It is advantage if the napkin folds are kept simple as less handling is involved. However, some establishment requires more elaborate folds for aesthetic reasons. Today, I will teach the most common napkin folding styles and how to make them. Now, I will demonstrate the procedure 
And while listening, you may follow me as long as your material is available. If not yet available for the meantime, please observe while I'm doing the most common napkin folding styles because you're expected to apply all the knowledge and skills in folding the table napkin. Let us prepare the material. All we need to have is a linen table napkin. I will be using an 18 by 18 square inches of linen table napkin. If you don't have like this, you may use a regular handkerchief. These are the common table napkin folding techniques. Number one is the pyramid napkin fold. Number two, the bishop's hat. Number three, the birds of paradise. Number four, the rosebud. Number five, the crown. Number six, the standing fan. Number seven, the rose napkin fold. And the eight is the sail. The pyramid. Lay down the napkin flat on a surface. Number two, fold napkin in half so that you can form a triangle. Number three, bring bottom corners up to the top of the triangle you have created. Number four, flip the napkin over while keeping the corners folded up. Next, bring the bottom point up to the top point. Six, fold the triangle in half and Finally, stand the napkin up. The bishop's hat. Number one, fold the dinner napkin in half so that the open end is towards you. Number two, fold the far right corner diagonally towards you, resting the point in the center of the side closest to you. Number three, fold the near left corner diagonally away from you, Resting it so that it lays right next to the previous fold. Number four, flip the napkin over and orient it as it points to the far left and to the near right. Number five, fold the bottom half of the napkin up and away from you, laying it to the far edges run on top of one another. Number six, reach underneath the napkin and pull out the flat in the right, making the near side come to the two points. Number seven, gently roll the left half triangle and tuck it underneath right triangle. Number eight, flip the napkin over point pointing away from you. Number ten, fold the right triangle to the left, tucking its end into the triangle. Number 11. Open up the hat and press the materials inside down to fill it so that it becomes circular. The Bird of Paradise Napkin Fold Number 1. Lay the napkin face down in front of you. Then fold the napkin in half. Number 3. Fold the napkin in quarters. Then, fold the napkin in half diagonally, creating a triangle. After that one, orient the triangle so the open tip is facing away from you. Next, fold the right corner diagonally towards you, laying it down along the center line of the triangle, making a new tip pointing towards you. An iron can make this important fold a whole lot easier. Do the same with the left corner. Fold it diagonally toward you and press it down next to the previous fold. Fold the two th wings that you just made in fold 6 and 7 under so that you have your original triangle shape back. Once again, an iron can make a world of difference. Next, fold the triangle in half by bringing the center seam towards you and allowing the ends to fall. This bird's almost ready to fly, but first you must give it some feathers. 
while holding the base firmly to keep your folds together, pull up the four flaps created by the napkin's corner. The Rosebud Napkin Fold Fold napkin in half diagonally. Fold corners to meet at the top point. Next, turn napkin over and fold bottom two third way up. Four, turn napkin around and bring corners together, tucking one into the other. And number five, turn napkin around and stand on base. The crown. Fold napkin in half diagonally. Fold corners to meet at top point. Number three, fold bottom point two third way to top and fold back into itself. Number four, turn napkin over, bring together, tucking one into the other. Next, peel two top corners to make crown. Then, open base of fold and stand upright. The Standing Fan Number 1. Fold napkin in half. Number 2. Make one half. Number 3. Fold in half with pleating on the outside. Number 4. Fold upper right corner diagonally down to folded base of pleats and turn under edge. Number 5. Place on table and release pleats to form fan. The Rose Fold all four corners of the open napkin to center. Number 2. Fold new corners to center. Next, turn napkin over and fold all corners to center. Four. Holding center firmly, reach each corner and pull up to form petals. Reach petals and pull flaps underneath. The Sail Napkin Fold Lay down the napkin face in front of you. Fold the napkin in half and orient the open end towards you. Fold the far right corner diagonally to the center of the side that is closest to you. The edge of this flap should run down the center of the napkin. Repeat the last step with the other side, folding the far left corner diagonally to rest right along the side of the previous fold. Fold the napkin in half by bringing the center seam up from the work surface and allowing the ends to fall backwards. Now we're done! Can you follow what I have demonstrated to you? Now you try! It's your turn! Let us check if you did the task well after this short break. The Rajo Z Escuela program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated, Maverick Builders Incorporated, Mitch Construction and Supply, Archicons Architectural Construction and Supply, DB Construction and Supply, Hanawai Builders Corporation, Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station, Master Construction and Supplies, Mackenzie Builders. GP and H Construction Incorporated, Metro Gear Construction Corporation, NEN Builders and Development Services Corporation, Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated, We Inc Construction Company, Rangai Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Councillor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Vertodazo, Icon Builders and Supply, and Apex Mining Company Incorporated. For two minutes, in page 81 of your learner's manual, 
you will be doing the activity 1.3. Perform at least five of the different styles listed in the activity sheet in napkin folding based on your acquired knowledge and skills in our lesson today. Rate yourself using the scoring rubric. Are you ready? Timer starts now. Timer stop. Let's see if how you honestly rate your output based on the scoring rubric. Good job! You did great! At this time, we will have your post-test to assess what you have learned from our lesson today. I will read the question twice, write true if the statement is correct and false if the statement is incorrect. Write the answer on your test notebook. Are you ready? Number one. Linen napkin should be folded elegantly and placed at the center of the dinner plate. True or false? You're right! The answer is true! Number 2 It is important that we are knowledgeable on the common napkin folding style. True or false? You're right! The answer is true! Number 3. Table napkin folding only requires one style to maintain its simplicity and uniqueness without following the standard of the establishment. True or false? Well, the answer is false. Number four. It is a disadvantage if napkin folds kept simple. True or false? Well, the answer is false. Number 5. In pyramid napkin fold, if your napkin won't stand neatly, apply a little glue in it. True or false? Well, the answer is false. Number 6. In Bishop's hat, in the last procedure, you will open up the hat and press the materials inside down to fill it out so that it becomes circular. True or false? You're right! The answer is true! Number 7 In Bird of Paradise, while holding the base firmly to keep your folds together, 
pull up the two flaps created by the napkin's corner. True or false? Well, the answer is false. Number 8. After folding the linen napkin according to its style, make sure that it is neat and clean. True or false? You're right! The answer is true! Number 9. Doing different folding style can add additional attraction in setting up your table for dining. True or false? You're right! The answer is true! And we are down in our last number. Number 10. Acquiring knowledge and skills in napkin folding is really a must in making your table setting presentable and functional. True or false? You're right! The answer is true! Now, check and count the number of the correct answers. Write your score in the upper right portion of the test notebook. Great job, learners! You did it! The Rajo Z Escuela program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by... Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated, Maverick Builders Incorporated, Mitch Construction and Supply, Archicons Architectural Construction and Supply, DB Construction and Supply, Hanawai Builders Corporation, Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station, Master Construction and Supplies, Mackenzie Builders, GP and H Construction Incorporated, Metro Gear Construction Corporation. NEN Builders and Development Services Corporation, Max Mays Enterprises Incorporated, We Inc. Construction Company, Rangai Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Councillor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Vertodazo, Icon Builders and Supply, and Apex Mining Company Incorporated. Let us check if we hit our objectives for today. Number 1. Did we identify the different kinds of common napkin folding styles? Number 2. Did we apply all the knowledge and skills in different types of napkin folding techniques? And number 3. Did we perform the different common napkin folding styles? Yes! We did it! Great job everyone! Thank you for tuning in. And job well done everyone! Please don't forget to submit all your outputs during the scheduled retrieval and distribution of modules. By the way, once again, this is your teacher Cheryl S. Absin, leaving a quote, Never stop learning because life never stop teaching. Bye! Till next time! Rajas Escuela Executive Committee, the school's division superintendent, Yofemia T. Gamutin Seso 5, assistant school's division superintendent, Dr. Romel R. Handayan, OIC Curriculum Implementation Division Chief, Karina S. Frasco, School Governance and Operations Division Chief, Dr. Roben J. Riponte, members, 
Cecilia Morales, Dr. Hilda A. Opeña, Dr. Arlene B. Lim, Dr. Eldecris B. Calzadora, Dr. Dexter A. Sikinia, Nohara O. Pinute, Noemi P. Canales, Dr. Grace D. Pontilias, Virgilito C. Pabrises, Juanito Lapiceros, Engineer Norberto S. Manlangi, Jomar M. Dumupoy, Bob Dalan S. Milabat, Medar T. Ampit, and Paz Eugenia Villusino. Technical Working Committee Productions and Communications Lori Lee E. Quijano Given G. Hinampas Judy Land T. U. Donna D. T. Bolifer Mary Rose N. Resma Rewen Manuel Irene Lea C. Manguhon and Bessie Aya N. Banyans Social Media and Packaging Team Christian Anhara L. Martesho William R. Ranara Joan T. Iscoton Roberto S. Acusar Jr. May B. Estanyol Richard H. Arellano Glee L. S. Blanco Ralph A. Tabanyag Angelo Gutierrez Jr. and Jade Karen Araiz